absolutely, especially in this thing. It's, it's honestly become the bane of my evening. Um, but um, I, I keep thinking that I'm going to be cool and that I can handle it, and then I like catch myself and almost fall flat on my face. Felicia Farrar. And then decided on, did you anticipate laboring? I wasn't, I was thinking about, just, you know, what would it be like to sit in, what would it be like to breathe in. I didn't think about what would it be like to walk up and down stairs in. I mean, you, liter you literally cannot take a step up because of this area right here, <laughs> which, you know, so I tried to do it sideways. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the past. I United Consciousness. I don't know. I, it wasn't a, um, a fashion choice. It was, um, um, I thought it would just be too much, I guess, in some way. Hey, Julia, when you were kind of a kid growing up, did you sit and think about your uh, ending assess uh, assessment thesis? And if you did, how did that compare to today? Um, no, I, I wasn't that kind of kid, but I do remember once um, um, just imagining what it would be like to, uh, to win an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know you gotta be honest, um, um, and um, and yes, I mean it's Ed, I, I could only imagine that it would be the same kind of, of feeling, and just awe and excitement and numbness and everything that it is. What do you think Ed Collins would think if he knew that the Oscar was going to be him? I don't know. Why do you? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. Um, I think it's the. Um, I think it's everything. I think it's the scripts. I think it's the look. I think it's the intelligence of the show. I think it's um, that from week to week, people honestly don't know what to expect, and that in some way that's exciting and mysterious, and and it draws people in. You know, I think it's just everything as a whole. I think it's um, we've got amazing writers on the show, we've got amazing directors on the show, we've got amazing art directors, we've got amazing cinematographers. Just everything um, works together so perfectly, and uh, we've been very very lucky for that. How much longer? Do Um, I, I, I want to do it for as long as it, it remains to be quality work, you know, for as long as they can keep the stories going um, um, at the level that they have and that people remain interested. If there, if there starts to be a dip in the interest in the show and we can't seem to boost it up again, you know, there's no reason to, to wallow in that. These are the kind of questions I got in my first season. <laughs> <laughs> Read some of my press, babe. Oh dear. Julia, I've noticed a lot of pictures of you and, and in very sexy and dress shirts. Is that is this a new you now? Is this a change? No, I, you know, for a while I I did um I did some press because of the um straightness of my character and that that was um all that people were used to seeing and so there was a period of time where I did more more sexier covers and stuff like that. And now I, I'm trying to get away from that and just do you know classic stuff and do some fun stuff with different photographers and and um, push the envelope in different ways and and uh, it's been fun. I, I enjoy photo shoots and I enjoy working with photographers and and I've been very lucky to work with the people that I've been able to work with. One more question on the most personal level. What does this mean to you? This kind of announcement. Um. I was just saying in the other room, but I'm going to reiterate it because I um, because it's the truth. Um, that the level of of um, of the quality of the work that we see on television now has um, has heightened to such um, a profound degree, and the the general audience I think expects that, and people, producers, actors keep putting out that kind of work. They expect to be moved. They expect to be, um, for their worlds to be rocked in some way. And um, and I think that, that um, on the most part, the television that is, televi the, the work on television that is out there right now is is moving always in, a, in, in, a t in an attempt to do that and to move people and, and to, to really get to the bottom of, um, of, of the truth and, and and reality, and I think that um, that because of that, um, it has become more of an honor than say it might have been ten years ago, to be a part of that um, 
conglomeration of, um, of people who were involved in that to begin with, but to be um, rewarded in some way for, for, for being a part of that, um, striving towards excellence is, is huge. Uh, we hope so. You know, that's that, that, that's a question for Chris Carter. But um, you know, we all grow and learn, and 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 things change. Are you going to save that? We're going to save that for the last question. Are you going to say it? No. Um, <laughs>